since there's been some prawns in the river, we thought we'd uh, take the time to show you how to throw a cast net. I like to call this off the wrist cast net technique. Starting off with the rope, just around the wrist, pretty simple. We coil the rope up. The rope always goes onto your preferred hand. Um, so usually if you're left-handed, left hand, right-handed, right hand. Same with the net, we bundle the net up. I don't hold the net, I drop the net. Some people like to hold it, but I like to just drop it, and let it hang down so it's all nice and free. Now to start uh, off the wrist technique, we like to pick up the front lead line or chain line in this case with this cast net, and it simply just rolls in the hand under your thumb. Once you pick it up, now you can see the net's open. So we grab across the body, onto the back side of the net, and we like to bundle up a good few handfuls of chain, just to make sure that there's nothing tangled, it's all free to cast, and that keeps, um, keeps it from fouling on itself. It simply then is brought up under the thumb. So it's one, one movement, just straight under the thumb, simple as that. We repeat the process on the opposite side of the net. Now the net's open, we know there's no tangles, and it's ready to be thrown. To enable the net to get a full spread, as we like to call it, you need to ensure that your dominant hand, which is the side that has the most of the net in it, leads the, the twisting motion. Starting from this side, come around, and it's just one sweeping motion leading with your strong arm. To ensure that your cast netting is a success, is making sure the net sinks to the bottom. Once it's on the bottom, a slow retrieve back to the boat, ensuring that you drag both lead lines together. Just get you to reverse up, Nige. You can see here, if I keep pulling the net up, it's gonna to get to the boat before it's closed. In which case, you get your dry to reverse, that'll do, mate. Slowly pulls it back closed together, and you don't lose any of your prawns. Another good tip when chasing prawns in the shallows is once your net's landed, give it a good flick. Give the top of the net a really good flick, a big shake. Sounds a bit weird in the water, but all the prawns will race up to the very top corner of the net, which gets them away from the open section. Therefore, you catch more prawns. Oh, there's a nice one. That is a cracker. <laughs> 